Hey guys, Steve Petrata here from Horizon Hobby. Today we're out flying the Blade 350 QX2. We're gonna be showing you the flight modes and how they act in the wind, how they act out here. We're gonna go through smart mode, AP mode, and stability mode, so let's get started. The first thing is gonna be smart mode. Go ahead and take off here. Left, right rudder starts the model up. Go ahead and raise the throttle up here. Now when I'm at center throttle, the model's gonna sit in the air, perfectly stable, it's gonna lock into GPS and lock into the altitude that I want. If I raise the stick higher, it's gonna go higher. If I pull the stick down, it's gonna go towards the ground. This mode has what we call safe circle. As I pull back towards me, the model is not gonna come into contact with me. It actually creates a 30 foot diameter barrier around me as the pilot. So if I push to the right or left, you'll notice that it goes around me in a circle. The safe circle is gonna prevent the model from flying into me. The next thing about smart mode is what we call stick relativity. Now stick relativity, if I yaw the model to the left and I push away from me, it's always gonna go away from me. If I turn it nose in and pull, push away from me, it's always gonna go away from me. So the, everything is relative to the pilot. Pulling back, the model comes towards me, stops right at the safe circle. Even if I'm yawing constantly and I push away, the model's gonna fly away from me or fly to the left or even fly to the right. Makes it really easy for the first time pilot to learn how to fly a quadcopter. All right guys, so the next mode is aerial photography mode or AP mode for short. What this mode is gonna give you is standard RC control. So orientation of the model does matter. Forward on the stick is always to the forward of the craft itself, not to the pilot's relative position. This mode's gonna give you really smooth self-leveling, kind of like what it is in smart mode. It's still gonna give you GPS and altitude hold. Throttle stick is still gonna react to altitude, not thrust command. And you're gonna be able to have really smooth footage for, your, for getting aerial photography shots. So let's go ahead and show you that now. Same thing, take off with left right rudder, raise the stick up about halfway, a little bit above half. You'll notice that it pauses for a second. It's actually determining the throttle position and then it will take off. You can raise your stick up and it will take off nice and slow. Let go of the stick or keep the stick in the center and that's gonna pause the altitude and it's also gonna stay in that GPS position. Now if I wanna fly around, I can go ahead and do so. And then you'll notice that it's really slow in this mode and my leveling is actually pretty slow. So if I push, if I really make the stick violent movements, you'll notice it's actually not moving a whole lot. And we're in about a 15 mile an hour wind today, and you'll notice it's really smooth. So without a gimbal on board, it makes everything really smooth, but if you have a gimbal on board, it's even that much better. The final mode on the 350QX2 is actually stability mode. Now, we've had this mode in the previous model, but we wanted to show you it again here. Stability mode gives you standard RC control. So again, like we said in AP mode, orientation of the craft does matter. Now you're gonna have bank angle limitations that are a lot further than, the st than smart mode or AP mode. So as I bank to the right, the model will pause at a pretty high angle. If I bank to the left, the model will pause at that angle too. It won't go any further, it won't flip over. Uh, this mode has GPS lock, but it does not have altitude hold. So you're actually controlling the thrust of the motors. The left stick is actually throttle in this case, not altitude. So if you, the more you increase the throttle, the faster the rotor spin and the faster the model will climb. Um, so when it locks into GPS, you can climb in a column if you're trying to film a large building or a large tree, you can lock into that GPS column, add throttle, and it will just climb in a nice straight column. So let's go ahead and check out stability mode. Again, we're gonna start with the left right rudder. So left right rudder powers up the model. Now, as I move the throttle stick, you're gonna see that it will take right off and I'm actually controlling RPM. Even if I bump the throttle around, you're gonna see that the model's jumping around based on my RPM command. Now, as I move the throttle, the right stick left and right, so that's gonna be my aileron and elevator stick, that's gonna be bank angle bank angle. So there's my limits. Even if I push it fast back and forth, you're going to see my bank angle limitations there. If I do the same on forward and back, forward and back, that's my bank angle limitations. It can't go any further than that. So if I let go of the sticks now, it's going to lock into GPS. Again, we're flying in about a 15 mile an hour breeze today. You'll notice that it kind of sits right there. Now if I raise the throttle up, it's going to climb in a straight column. And this will climb as far as you need to go just in that GPS column and it will continue to fight the wind. If I go ahead and lower it, it's gonna come back down. Now remember, I'm flying RPM of the motors here, so I actually can hit the ground if I don't control it. So you really need to be careful there. And that's stability mode. You can get a lot more aggressive shots. If you're looking to fly really fast, you can do so. And still have full control and self-leveling of the model. Both stability mode, AP mode, actually all three modes will have self-leveling. So when you let go of the stick, the model will snap right back to center flight. Let go of the stick, snap back to level flight. Really easy to fly and a lot of fun too.
So the last feature of the 350QX2 that we've had in the previous model is of course return home. Now if you get up and flying and you don't know where the model is, you don't know which way it's facing, all you'll need to do is flip the return home switch. We've made it really easy on the new radio. You'll see an arm button, an arm label and a home label. Flip it down to home, the model's gonna go right into return home. It's gonna stop what it's doing, fly back to the home position and land itself for you. When you want to take over control again, flip it back into the arm position and now you've got control. So if something comes out in front of you, you don't like where it's going, take control of it and keep flying. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. Those are all three of the flight modes of the Blade 350QX2. Remember, these are the same exact flight modes if you have the AP combo version. That's the one with the gimbal and the camera. We hope you enjoy this product. It's a lot of fun. Check it out. We'll see you later.